Ch -ch 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 -chumbers. Hey, I'm here today to do a little quick review on Bobro Engineering's Lowrider Backup Iron Sights. Now, as it's laying flat, you almost look like, hey, are these 2D? Are these images? What is this? Why is it so thin? Huh. And when I say thin, I mean truly, it is a low profile. Beautiful backup iron sights. Well machined. I mean, all they do over there is precision stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, but backup iron sights, be able to do your windage adjustments by rotating this with your fingers and also the little set screw in there allows you to lock that in, in position. It swings on and pivots on one arm, has the internal detent for when it's locked in as well as when it's folded down which also gives you kind of a good feedback of being locked up or down which is pretty nice. Front sight same way elevation gets um, adjusted and they actually provide you with this little piece obviously this is new so it's not formed to the front sight post but Eventually, what you do is you plug it in and do a little rotation like that. So, but yeah, you could you could adjust the elevation and once again lock it in place with that screw. And once it's locked in, it's locked in so that you're zero, right? Very slim, low profile, durable, made of 6061 aluminum T6 grade, hard coat, anodized, and most importantly, this thing weighs 1.7 ounce. That's lighter than some of the rear, you know, backup iron sights out there. So, amazing stuff here. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like on a complete upper. So I have it installed here on a complete upper just to show you how it appears on a rail. And like I said, when it's slim, it is slim. There's your side profile. And turning it up and then down. Yeah, I just love the way that detent just really allows it to just snap in place and hold its position. So it's pretty firm where, you, you know, it's gonna stay in place, but at the same time, if it gets snagged or if it hits something, it's gonna fold down versus um, before the prototype, and uh, they designed it so that you had a push button, but this really allows it to just fold down in place and not get snagged, which I thought was kind of nice show you what the rear looks like as well but look at that low profile very slim And what I've done here now is installed my optic or my scope to show you the clearance. I mean, look at that. Look how low profile that is where it gives you all this room and be able to tuck it underneath without having any issues. And that's the, one of the greatest things I think that Bobro does. Uh, they have a purpose in design and how they want to go about doing it. And so some of the things that they mentioned was they want to make something that's low as possible, durable, fits under an optic, that's lightweight. And you know what? It's four for four. They just hit it out of the park, you know what I mean? So um, 
if you're not familiar with what it is that they do, I mean, just having this optic mount here, utilizing that and loving it, you know, for those who know, you'll get the same reaction when you use this backup iron sights. When it's all said and done, these pair go for uh, about $200, $199 or so. So, many options out there, but I think this might be one that you'll truly be happy with. So, it's what I do. If you have a product that you would want, want me to do a little review on, let me know as well. This was done because someone actually requested that I do a review. And I was more than happy to say, yeah, man, these, these sites are beautiful. So I was more than happy to do so. Uh, once again, sharing is caring. It's what I do. Chummers. <laughs>